This is Joe Drums coming to you. I hope everybody out there is doing great, staying safe. Hope you guys had a nice, happy, healthy uh, Halloween. Uh, moving into November now. Today is the 11th of November. And we've got, uh, of course, Thanksgiving Day coming up pretty soon on the 24th. I wanted to stop and make a video because I ended up getting some symbols, some electronic symbols, uh, for my kit at the church where I'm playing at. Uh, I have my old Roland uh symbols there now and i want to bring those back home and put them on the set that i have here um because that's where those belong and i got these other symbols for the church so that i can kind of have those and that'll be for that particular set there that's that's that gretsch catalina maple set that i turned into with the mesh heads and the rolling triggers i turned it into a hybrid drum set um and i got these i wanted to get you know of course some symbols for it and the problem is is if I went with Roland they're just way too expensive um, just the hi-hat alone is like almost a thousand dollars so I wanted to opt for something other than that price range and I looked around and I saw these symbols made by uh, Lemon and I got uh, two of these uh, in the 13 inch two lemons um, and they uh, have the the ride it's got ride one ride two you can plug it in and uh, these are really um, excellent symbols as far as I've heard I've been doing some research on them and everybody seems to like them really well um, so I got two 13s and then I got a, a 15 inch and I got a ride symbol which is an 18 inch well I'm gonna call it my ride symbol I mean you can make these whatever you want um, so the price wasn't bad if you check them out um, I ended up getting them on Amazon and uh, probably paid around 400 for the whole all four of these I didn't get the hi-hats yet I'm gonna still use the ones that I have at the uh, at the church right now the rolling ones and I'll bring those home once I look into getting some hi-hats I'm not sure um, lemon as far as I've been trying to find out uh, it looks like they don't make a, a hi-hat symbol or if they do, you basically make one of the symbols into a hi-hat. So I'm going to research that a little bit more and find out. But let's hear what these sound like. And um, when I put these on my um, drum set at the church, I'm going to do another video. So look and stay tuned for that when I have that coming up in the next, uh, next video or so. So um, let's get uh, over to the electronic set and we'll put these on there. Let's check this out. Okay, and as you can see here, I have um, four different lemon symbols. Uh, these two are 13 inch, I have a 15 inch, and an 18 inch. And I wanted to get these for the drum set at my church that I'm playing at because I'm using the Roland symbols that this set came with. And I want to bring these to the church, and I'll do that on Sunday. Uh, right now, today is Friday. Um, so this Sunday I'm going to put these up there and I will make a video and show you guys what they sound like with the uh, the kit that I have set up there. But um, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you what these sound like. Um, there's one issue that I'm going to talk about in a minute here. But let's kind of hear what they sound like. I'm going to kind of show you that they all sound really good. little splash cymbal. Another crash cymbal. Ride symbol. They all choke. And if you notice, one of the things, I'm going to show you this right now, on the ride symbol, uh, it seems like it's only the ride symbol that it's doing this with, but I, I found that um, there's a video online that shows you how to, to correct this problem. The problem is, is that the ride cymbal sounds great, like this. If I hit the bell of the cymbal,
it creates the sound that I'm hitting more or less on the edge. Now if I hit the edge, it's going to sound like the bell. So there's a real easy way. What you do is you open up, you turn the cymbal around, and you'll open it up in where, the, uh, where you plug in. And there's actually a cable that you'll just unplug and then plug it into the other one. And those two options will switch. Now the reason why I'm not doing it now is because I may get to the church, plug this in, and the brain that I'm using at the church for the, uh, the mesh headset that I have there, um, it may be fine. I might not even have to do that. So I'm going to wait and see. And then if it does do the same thing, then I'll switch it around at the church. Okay, and here we are at the church. On my left side of my kit, I have a Lemon 13-inch crash cymbal. We'll be using that strictly for just a crash. On my right side of my kit, over in the upper left, I have a 15-inch crash. The middle cymbal is the 18-inch ride cymbal. And I have another 13-inch Lemon, which is going to be designated for special effects cymbals like Chinas and Splashes. And down below here I have the 14 and the 16, and they're both connected with Roland triggers, which are really great triggers by the way, very responsive. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to take your ride cymbal, your 18 inch ride, and make it so that it plays the bell in the right area. As you can see, this is the underside of it. It has 11 screws on the outside there, and on the inside of that little hole, you can see there's actually going to be six more screws that you'll have to undo. Once you're inside the ride cymbal, here's what it looks like. At the top there, that shiny little disc is the transducer. It's connected with the red and the black cable. And they run underneath the two jacks. You'll basically want to undo that little um, wire right there. And all you got to do is just pull up on the little white part right there. And it'll loosen up. And once you do, you slide that underneath both of the jacks. Because it won't reach if you tried to make it reach to the next um, fitting there, it just won't reach. You have to pull the cable underneath it and then once you pull it out you'll be able to see. So there's A side, you want to make that little plug plug into the B side. Simple as that. And once that's done, here's what it looks like all put together. As you can see down below is the uh, A side and the B side. The, the one on the bottom is the A and you'll be able to switch that to the B side and there's what the cable as you can see it runs right across the uh, jack and plugs right into that and that's pretty much it you'll screw it back together you'll get it all set up and you'll have a beautiful ride symbol that plays with your kit in perfect working order so um, just fabulous real easy fix and nothing to it so if you have any questions just feel free to let me know but I think these symbols are really classy. I think they look very similar to the Roland. Uh, the response time and everything that they, uh, you know, they're made to do sounds really, really good. And um, as far as you know, the wear and tear on them, I don't know. I've just got these. I'm going to try them out, and maybe in the future I'll do another video and let you know how they're going as far as the, uh, you know, the length of the symbol and how long they last for. And I'm not really a heavy hitter, so I'll, I'll probably be able to use these for a long, long, long time. But um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Drop me a line in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to my videos. And until then, I will talk to you guys very soon on the next video. Until then, you guys take care. This is Joe Drums signing off. Have a good one.